Yes! Yes! I am so excited to be here today. Oh my gosh. I love this game. I love Pokemon Emerald. Um, thanks for being here. Hi, Brody. Thanks for being here today. Um, so, Pokemon Emerald. Is it... Yo, yo, what's up? Um, Pokemon Emerald is... A Generation 3 Pokemon game. It started with Ruby and Sapphire, but it continued in a third version with Pokemon Emerald. We're kind of like keeping our tradition of doing the third version. We've done Yellow, we've done Crystal, now we're going to do Emerald. Um, and even though I talked about Pokemon Crystal as maybe my favorite game, Pokemon Emerald maybe... I've argued this could be the best Pokemon game, in my opinion. Obviously, I love so many of them, but this one could be it. Um, obviously, this doesn't look like Pokemon trading card game. <laughs> Sorry, Brody. <laughs> I don't know how to play the Pokemon game trading card game, really. I actually do collect the cards, which is funny, um, but I have never known how to play the game. Not really, anyway. So... Obviously, we're going to start a new game. I'm really excited for what I've got planned with this because I'm planning on doing some things that I have never done before um, in Emerald, a game that I've played so many times, but I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited. Uh, love this game. Let's just, let's get into it. Hi! Sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is our third tree professor now. This is what we call a Pokemon. That's a low tad for the uninitiated. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. Excuse me. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are... Are you a boy or a girl? I'm going to play as the boy because I am a boy. And I'm just going to kind of keep with our tradition. Or a tradition that I started with Crystal. We'll go with SCG. Um, ooh, Emerald is good, but best is White 2 for you. Here's a fun fact. I actually don't like Generation 5. Um, I know so many people think it's like the Holy Grail, and I can't argue that it's not good. I just personally don't really like it. Just came at a weird time of my, like, fandom with the franchise. I do want to play it on here, though, because I want to, like, really, really take it in. I have played it plenty of times, but I want to really take it in to, like, just make sure my opinion of it is fully formed, especially because so many people love it. You're SCG, who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. All right. All right, are you ready? Your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in the Pokemon Lab. Um, this is cool.
Yeah, hop off the moving truck. Not safe, Mom. You let your son ride in the back with all the boxes? Come on now. SCG, we're here, honey. It must be tiring riding with our things in the moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. Uh, where's Big Root? Yeah, I, hey, listen, Brody, you're asking the big questions. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be an easy place to live, don't you think? How's the music, guys? Is it quiet? Or is it a good volume for you? And uh, let's get you to your own room, SCG. Let's go inside. Ah, see, SCG. Isn't it nice in here, too? The movers, Pokemon, do all the work of moving in and cleaning... It's good, Brody. Thank you. Uh, doing all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Your room is upstairs. Um, fun fact. Um, oh, yeah. You can set your clock in this game, but it doesn't have, like, the day-night cycle that... Uh, gold and silver and crystal do, at least not um, properly like in the overworld. So this is a Vigoroth. They are moving your stuff into your house. This one's just moving back and forth. He's not really doing anything productive, but he's trying his best. Um, Alright. Fun fact, in Ruby and Sapphire, those are actually Machoke. They change it for Emerald. There are a lot of like really nice changes in Emerald from Ruby and Sapphire. So even though we're playing Emerald here, I... Uh, honestly recommend that you play Ruby and Sapphire as well. Um, so we got our potion. Uh, right here, baby. It's a Nintendo GameCube. A Game Boy Advance is connected to serve as the controller. Now that right there. The GameCube was a system. I love the GameCube. Melee. Oh, so great. Okay, so we have to set the clock. The clock is stopped. Better set it and start it. Um, <laughs> back to three forms for Eevee. All right, so it is just past 7 o'clock p.m., so I'm going to set that. Let's see if we can remember how to read a clock, everyone. So that'll take us to 6, and then 7, 7.10. That's there, 7.10. There we go. Yes! All right. SCG, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Wow. Um, oh, you should uh, make sure everything's there on your desk. And that kind of, there's kind of like a little tip diary here. Open the menu with start and record your progress with save. Which we'll do right now. Just because it told us to. And this is actually my inaugural save on this here, uh, on this here ROM, so that's wonderful. Hmm. SEG, quick, come quick. This is interesting. Look, it's Petalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. We bought, we brought you this report from in front of the Petalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. So, you actually have a dad in this game. You do not always have a dad as a Pokemon protagonist. This might be the only one where you do, actually, <laughs> which is kind of sad. Um, oh, yes, one of Dad's friends lives in town, Professor Bert. She lives right next door. Amazing. Okay, so as you can see, getting into Generation 3, uh, I didn't really point this out. The graphics make a big, make a big jump in Generation 3 here. Um, when I played this on my, uh, when I played Gen 3 on my Game Boy Advance SP, my mind was blown. Oh yeah, he's not here. Um, <laughs> so, because also my SP had a backlight, which the Game Boy Color did not have, which was amazing. You could play in the back of the car and... Your parents wouldn't have to turn the overhead light on. You can just play it, play it, play it. And that's probably what ruined my eyes. Oh, your SCG, our new next door neighbor. Daughter is about the same age as you. She's upstairs, I think. All right. So here we're going to meet our rival. She has an orange GameCube. How fun. <gasps> Hello. Who are you? Oh, your SCG, your move to was today. Glad to meet you. I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. <laughs> I heard about you, SCG, from my dad, Professor Birch. Wow, another Nepo baby. I was hoping that you would be nice so we could be friends. Aw, I'm happy to meet you too, May. Let's see. Um, <laughs> Game Freak, who needs to see? That's what I'm saying. 
We're all just having fun. Who needs to see? So this is where things get interesting. Now, we don't know where Professor Birch is. So let's uh, let's walk up here. Let's see what's... Uh... Oh, um, hi. There are scary Pokemon outside. I can hear their cries. Ooh. I want to see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you see what's happening for me? Okay, let's, let's see what this is. Great music here. Mm. Perfectly threatening, but not too scary to be like, this is your first little, ugh, what's happening? And Professor Birch is being chased. He's being chased by a Pokemon. He's not being chased as in prudent or modest. Just a little word humor for you. Okay. Hello, you over there. Please help me. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. So this is how you choose your starter. You save the professor. It's wonderful. And here we are going to use, I know a lot of people have a lot of opinions. The Gen 3 starters are famously great, but we are going to go with one of my favorite starters of all time. And that little guy is Trico. I love Trico so very much. Mm. So here's a Zigzagoon. It is kind of like, you know, the regional normal type of the Hoenn region. Um, it's kind of like, you know, Rattata or Centrit. Let's see, we got a pound here. We should be able to defeat this easily. We got three levels on this, on this bad woman here. But um, yeah, another gr uh, cool thing about Gen 3 is Generation 2 exists so much as like a companion to Generation 1 and as a sequel, and that's one thing that I really like about it. Um, let's see. Ooh, we're gonna need a good nickname for the little dude. Give me a good nickname in the chat, please and thank you. Um, but uh, Generation 3 really looks to kind of like go off on its own a little bit and kind of forge its own path. Woo! I was in tall grass studying what? Piccolo? Mom, I love, love that name for our Trico. Um, uh, <laughs> Tree? Cool. Also great, Brody, but I'm such a huge fan of Piccolo. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot. Oh, your SCG! Okay. Uh, great lab music here, too. So, SCG, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet. Um, let's see. So, our father, we're actually going to learn more about him later. So, I won't say too much yet. We got the Trico! All right. Absolutely. Um, both great names, but I do favor Piccolo. I love... <laughs> yes, thanks, Brody. Um, let's see. Piccolo. One of my favorite Dragon Ball Z characters. All right. If you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. Your kid may. Oh yeah, it would be a good idea to see May. How about that? So now we get to hop up here. And yeah, the speed up's a little different. I think I mentioned I have to use a different emulator for the Game Boy Advance games because they weren't really working right on the one I prefer. The music is kind of high pitched when you speed up, so I'll try not to speed up too terribly much. Unless there's something like truly, truly, uh, punishingly, what's the word, mundane or monotonous. So we just saw a zigzagoon. Here we have Poochiana! Um, another fun fact in Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, Professor Birch is actually being chased by a Poochiena. Or a Poochiena. It's based on a hyena, so it's probably pronounced Poochiena. I always say Poochiena. Um, here we have a Wurmple. This is kind of like our Caterpie of the region, so to speak. But it has a cool mechanic. It can actually evolve into two different Pokemon rather than just one, which is nice. Hmm. And as you can tell, there's a lot more to this soundtrack. Famously, they have, like, the horns in there. Um, Brody? <laughs> you joke, Brody. But, I won't spoil it for those, uh, but if you all read the chat, I'll just let you look for yourself. That may or may not be a plan of mine. And that might be, uh... Uh, punishment. 
but I've never done it before, so I'm excited. Um, so this guy gives us a potion, just as a little promotional item. And if we try to go over here, this dude is just like, yo, he like pulls you back. <laughs> he like grabs you by the backpack. Ah, wait, don't come in here. I just discovered footprints of a rare, po of a rare Pokemon. Okay, no problem, dude. I'll respect your space. So now we just gotta hop up here. Ah, uh, the music, the music in all Pokemon games are incredible. Um, but really, like the, fr the first four I obviously favor. Um, they are just absolutely wonder wonderful, very nostalgic for me, but I think pretty, pretty, uh, what's the word? Objectively good. Um, all right, so now we have May, and spoiler alert, this is our first rival battle. Rival battle. And she's trying to figure out what Pokemon are on this route. Let's have a quick battle. Sounds good to me. Great music, because again, like exciting, fun, but not like scary. She's just our friendly rival. We're just having a nice little sparring match, you know? Thank you so much, Loctus. I appreciate that. I work on it a lot. I really do. Oh, I was talking last stream. Um, last stream? Uh, one of my recent streams, anyway. I had an, uh, let's see. Oh, can't wait for Gen 4? I mean, hey. Um, <laughs> Gen 4 June. You might be right, who knows. Um, but uh, I, sorry, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yes. Ah, oh, crap. I was saying I had an audition on Friday. And, okay, I'm actually going to use a potion because I don't want to die. And it got a critical hit, so I feel like I can use a potion. Um, but I actually got a callback from that audition, which is very exciting. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to say what it is, so I'm not going to. I'm, it's just, it's this weekend, so... Um, keep me in your thoughts this weekend. I have kind of, you know... My acting career is not something that I really actively pursue as a career much anymore. Um, but I do still audition from time to time. And it's really exciting to kind of, you know, get a chance to take another crack at it. Um, so I'm excited. Fingers crossed, thank you. Um, so with the power of our potion, she was getting critical hits all over the place. That was, like, too much. Um, but with the power of our potion, we were able to defeat May. Let's see. Oh, yeah, and it's also interesting that you don't get to name... <laughs> I don't want to die. Me too. Thanks, Brody. I appreciate that. Um, but uh, in this game, they don't let you name your rival, which I've always found interesting. Um, because you get to name your rival in other, in other games. I think this... Is this the only game you don't get to... No, that's not true. There are uh, a lot of the newer ones. The rival is like such a character they have their own name but in a lot of other games you get to name your rival but here um if you play as a boy your rival would will be the female may but if you play as a girl your rival will be the male brendan so i'm technically playing as brendan even though i'm calling myself scg so we're just doing some early game stuff here. Oh, hi, SCG. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May's been helping with my research for a long time. Has an extensive history as a trainer. Um, here's, uh, let's see. Oh, yes. Here we get the Pokedex. Very happy to see it. Um, let's see. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon, he always calls him, he always calls May my kid, which is funny. Uh, let's see. Oh, wow, you got a Pokedex, too. Great, just like me. Oh, thanks, May. So now we can catch Pokemon of our own. So I'm definitely going to catch a couple Pokemon this stream. Um, let's see. Oops. Okay. Oh, <laughs> probably because Dad can't remember their name. <laughs> he might be right. Okay. So now... Wait, SCG! SCG, SCG, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, wow, and you have a Pokemon. How about that? You're your father's child, all right. They talk about our dad a whole lot. 
All right, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. The running shoes were a great invention in Generation 3. So all you have to do is press down the B button. Oh, to think that you have your very own Pokemon now. Your father will be overjoyed, but please be careful. Ah, oh, nice little speech from your mom. So, the running shoes. See, here's our walking speed. This is slow. This isn't, this isn't as fun. But, check this out! Woo! I'm zooming! This is really great. It's a really nice medium between walking and the bike. And something in, like, other generations when you have to, like, get on your bike to move faster. Having this option is just really nice. I really love the running shoes. Hmm. So here we have a Zigzagoon. I definitely want to catch one, but we can catch a higher level Zigzagoon, I believe, on the next route. So that's what we're going to go with. Um, we have a little bit of money now, so let's stop at the new and improved... Oh, wait, no, this is the Pokemon Center. What am I doing? Um, did I heal after that battle? I did. Maybe it gives you an auto heal. I actually don't really know. So we're going to pop over here to the Pokemon Mart. Oh, great music here. Be -do 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 -be -do. Okay, let's just get a couple more of these just to be on the safe side. And we're going to do my trademark two antidotes, two paralyzed heals, and then two awakenings. Okay, and then... How about two potions? Love to see it. Oop. Oop, oop, oop. Okay. Lovely. All right, now we are prepped. I actually am going to pop up here first rather than progress. Um, because if you can see, hold on, let me save really quick because I have anxiety. Do, 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 do. There we go. Um, our first Pokemon we're going to catch is up here. There he is. There she is. Our friend Wingle. Um, hmm. You know what? I am actually going to run from this Wingle because I think you can get one at level four. Um, and if it turns out that it takes us a while to find another one, I will just um, catch the next one I see. But as you can see here, there's water here and we cannot pass. So we cannot move any any further in the game. We have to go to the west. Ah, great. A level 4 Zigzagoon. That's good enough for me. And there is one great thing about having a Zigzagoon on your, in your party. Um, first and foremost, they can learn a lot of HMs, which is super useful. Um, because we probably aren't going to use one our entire run. At least that's not my plan. Um, okay, great. So let's grab our handy-dandy Pokeball. Get me a Zigzagoon name ready in the chat, if you don't mind. Mmm. Love that little click. That little click is wonderful. I think that was an Emerald Edition. I don't think it does that in Ruby and Sapphire. The Tiny Raccoon Pokemon. Rubbing its nose against the ground, it always wanders about back and forth in search of something. It is distinguished by the zigzag footprints it leaves. Ziggy. Easy. Easy peasy. Classic. Elegant. Just like, I mean, it's like, it's like George or Audrey. It's just classic. Okay. So we got Ziggy. And now we are looking for another Wingle. It might take us a while to find one. Um, I maybe shouldn't have run from the first one, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, let's see here. All right, sorry, I'm gonna speed up a little bit. Now, neither one of these Pokemon are in my plans for our final team. Um, because there's some other cool Pokemon that I want to show off. Um, and like I said, some cool Pokemon that I have never used before. Because um, really, 
when I was when I was making my plans for this, I I have like an off the wall pick, kind of like how we ran Dunsparce and Crystal, which I loved. Um, but uh, all right, folks. I know Wingull's a little bit of a rarer spawn spawn here. Maybe I should have just gone for the level two one. Um, all right, um, but. Yeah, there's some really cool Pokemon that we can get later in the game that I'm really excited about. Um, there we go. Level 2, I'll take it. It's fine. I think you can get a stronger one, but that's no big deal. Let's just stick with this for now. Oh! <laughs> uh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. That's very funny. Um, <laughs> so now I gotta find another one. Um, but uh, if you've got any Wingle nicknames, just let me know while we find our third Wingle. Sorry that this is so annoying. Um, Wingle is just a Pokemon that I really wanted to use um, because it's going to be really good for our first two gyms. Um, let's see. There we go. All right. Let's try again. Ah! Cloud, love it. Perfect, because it gets drizzly. Okay, I was going to say, do not get another critical hit. Um, lovely. And that is the reason we want Wingle early. It has access to Water Gun. That's very good. There we go. So, with our girl Cloud the Wingle and Piccolo the Trico, we should actually be in very good shape for the first gym. Um, because the first gym in this game, like several of the other Pokemon games, is in fact a rock type gym. Um, we're actually not going to get there for a little while. We might be able to get there today. We'll see. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. All right. Oh, yeah. Another reason I wanted to use Wingle is that Wingle's evolution um, is one of my buddy's favorite Pokemon. So shout out to you. Um, let's see. All righty on to Route 102. So here is our first route with trainers here. As you can see, we have this classic youngster in his backwards cap. Um, we're gonna start with Cloud because her level is pretty low right now. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right, Brody. Um, uh, Brody's saying that Wingle's high risk, high reward. Um, and he's right. Um, Wingle's got that super effective water type move but it will uh rock will also be super effective against it so it is a kind of high risk high reward proposition but one i'm comfortable with um okay we can probably live one more of those all right i am fine with that oh not back don't want back we do not want to try to catch another person's pokemon um, we're gonna see if everyone can get in on the fun here. Um, I kind of talk about... I've spoken a couple of times about this being the best Pokemon game, possibly. Um, and... I'm actually gonna swap out here because... A Howl will be... Not good for Zigzagoon there. There we go. Um, to me... Generation 3, which is the generation that uh, Emerald's a part of, it has the best, like, engine. And, like, it has a really strong art style. Um, everything moves along really nicely. It just feels really good to play. Like, playability-wise, I feel like Generation 3 is the best one. Um, and it's just, I mean, it's simple. But it just feels really nice. Like, the controls are good. Um... 
everything just feels sharp and pretty like intentional and nice. Um, and that's one of the reasons I think this is the best game. But I mean, you'll see for yourself as as our adventure as our adventure kind of unfolds. Um, we'll see what the big deal is. Um, now, when we get to this route in Route 102, there is a Pokemon here that's quite rare, and we could catch it. I was considering catching it for this playthrough. But it will be shown off eventually. We'll get there. Um, and it's kind of like an obvious pick, you know? I, I wanted to do, like I said, I wanted to do some stuff that I had never done before. Um, some stuff that I feel shows off some of the mechanics of the game, some of the secrets of the game, um, as far as our the build of our team goes. So, um, I won't be using this Pokemon, but... I'm excited to show it off because it is one of my personal favorites. Mm -hmm. Nice critical hit from Cloud. Let's see. Let's see. With the shader, all the all the eyes look so creepy. Oh, interesting. You think so? Um. There we go. I'll make sure I have a. I'll have another look when I see our boy bug catcher Rick again. Ah, yes. One thing that I will want to point out about Ziggy um, once we get rolling here. Once we can get out of battle, anyway. I thought Wormpool might, might know Poison Sting by now, but maybe not. Um... And so Wurmple can evolve into a poison type or a non-poison bug type. So it either evolves into a poison bug or a poison flying. Which, I mean, you know, obviously it's a caterpillar. It's going to evolve into a butterfly. Um, but I'm excited to... There we go. Ziggy grew to five. Learn Tail Whip. Love to see it. All right, so the thing with Ziggy that we've got going on is this ability, Pick Up. Pick Up is an amazing ability. Um, it is a great way to get items throughout your playthrough. Um, fun fact, in Ruby and Sapphire, a Zigzagoon of any level can pick up any item. So it can get you an Ultra Ball, it can get you rare candies, it can get you full heals. But in Emerald, they scaled it by level. So when it's in the lower levels, it can only get you certain items, like regular potions, like lower level items. But as you level it up, that's when you can get the rare candies and nuggets and stuff. So that's a little good pickup tidbit. Let's see. So we have a couple more trainers here. I'm going to skip them for now. Um, we'll make our way back to them. Ah, yes. And here we have... Specific berries. These are Orin berries. Um, they function a lot like the regular berries in Crystal, where they just heal 10 HP. And here we have Pecha berries. Um, and these, I believe, specifically heal poison. Um, and, it, you know, it functions a lot like the poison cure berries, the paralyzed cure berries that they had in Generation 2. They just gave them names, is honestly really the only difference here. Um, okay, so we are fine. We'll, we'll fight this uh, little lassie here. There we go. Last Tiana. Zigzagoon. All right. And as we go through the early game here... Um, I'll show off some of the other Pokemon that we can encounter that we are deciding not to use. Um, because there are a lot of new Pokemon in this game, of course. There are more Pokemon introduced in Generation 3 than there were in Generation 2. Um, but what this game does that the first two generations don't do a good job of, but this one does, it shows you the new Pokemon. It uses the new Pokemon. I think I famously said that like there's only one trader with a Slowking 
in Generation 2. Why? It's such a cool new Pokemon. Someone should have one. Um, but here, they usually do a much better job of kind of like showcasing um, their new roster. And this is a good example of that. Because this here last has a Shroomish. It is a l cool little like mushroom plant Pokemon. Um, very cute. Um, C Dot is a 1% chance. Yes, C Dot is another cool uh, grass Pokemon that you can run into. Um, but with this, we're just going to let Piccolo work its pound. Shroomish has a really good ability called Effect Spore, where if you. <laughs> My wife just sneezed in the other room. I almost went, bless you. <laughs> um, but uh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh my gosh! I haven't even introduced abilities! Oh my gosh, okay. I showed you the ability that Zigzagoon has, but I forgot that that's a completely new mechanic for Generation 3. This is a huge deal. Check this. So, here, our Wingull has Keen Eye ability, which you can't lose accuracy with Keen Eye. So, like, if someone used Sand Attack, it wouldn't work on Wingull. We talked about Zigzagoon's pickup. It can just pick up items when you walk around. And Trico has the ability Overgrow, which uh, increases the effectiveness of your grass moves if your HP is below a certain threshold. I think it's if it's below a third, I think. Um, but yeah, abilities, they're new, they're awesome, they're sick, and they are a staple in the Pokemon franchise now. And this is where they were introduced. Wonderful. Um, okay. So we gonna run down here and grab this, oh, just a potion. I thought it was a paralyzed heal for whatever reason. Um, all right, let's see. Is there a new Pokemon we can find in here for the people? Um, let's see. All right, we won't worry about it. Um, I believe in this game you can catch Lotad here on this route. Um, Lotad was the Pokemon that we saw in the opening. All right. So here we are in Petalburg City. Yeah, abilities aren't in Gen 1 and 2. It's uh it's it's cool. They were like such a great addition. Um, and can just add a lot of like viability for Pokemon that you might not normally use. Abilities are awesome. Really great. I don't think I'm in the minority when I say that. Um, Alright, so here we have a Pokemon gym. But uh, we can't fight this Pokemon gym yet. And we're about to learn why. Who's this guy? Dad? What? Hmm. Well, if it isn't SCG, so you're all finished moving in. Not that you helped, Dad. I'm surprised that you managed to get here by yourself. Oh, I see you're with your Pokemon. I guess you're going to become a trainer like me, SCG. That's great news. I'll be looking forward to it. So then we meet this guy. Um, I, I'd like to get a Pokemon, please. Ah, yes, you're Wally, right? I'm going to stay with my relatives in Verdant Turf Town. I thought I would be lonely by myself, so I wanted to take a Pokemon along. <laughs> but I've never caught a Pokemon before. I don't know how. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, goodness. Wally's portrayed is very, like, meek and mild. Hmm, I see. SEG, you heard that, right? Go with Wally and make sure that he safely catches a Pokemon. So we make friends with our little uh, little guy, Wally, here. So then he loans Wally a Zigzagoon, which is so nice of our dad. All right. So. Wally's our little buddy now. Because uh, Wally's dad knows knows our dad, and they're they're just dad friends, you know. So Wally goes into the grass, and he's just like, how do you catch a Pokemon? Whoa! So this is the rare Pokemon you can find on this route. This is a Ralts. It is a great Pokemon. It is a psychic Pokemon. It evolves into one of my favorites of all time. Um, but I thought it would be fun. Right now I'm not doing anything, because this is just the AI, Wally's AI, fighting this Ralts. Um, spoiler alert, he catches the Ralts. Um... But, uh, yeah, so Ralts is really cool, but since Wally has one, and I've used it a lot in my playthroughs, and it's probably a very common uh, playthrough Pokemon that people will use in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, I decided not to use it for our playthrough. 
<laughs> I'm not his babysitter. You go, Dad. <laughs> I love that. Um, all right, so now that he's weak in Ralts, he's going to do his best to catch it. And he cycles through the bag very slowly, as you can see. <laughs> oh, Ralts is also 1%. I thought it was 5%. Maybe it is. Um, there we go. He got that, Ralts. Very nice. I did it! It's... It's my, my Pokemon! Oh, SCG, thank you. Let's go back to the gym. Ah, so did it work out? Thank you. Yes, it did. Here's your Pokemon back. Thanks for coming along with me. You two are why I was able to catch my Pokemon. I promise I'll take really good care of it. Ah, have to go. Bye! So yeah, Wally's our bud now. We'll hear from him later. Now, SCG, if you want to become a strong trainer like me, here's my advice. Head for Rustboro City beyond this town. There you should challenge the gym leader, Roxanne. Roxanne trains the rock type, if you can believe that. I just spit everywhere. <laughs> um, let's see. After her, go on to the other Pokemon gyms and defeat their leaders. Collect badges from them. Understood. Of course, I'm a gym leader too. We'll battle one day, SCG. But that's only after you've become stronger. So, we will fight our dad, who is a gym leader. What a cool little story thing! I love that they do this in this game. I think that's wonderful. Really cool. Uh, let's see. <laughs> All right. So let's hop in here. Ah, yes. I always like to grab a couple of escape ropes. There we go. Let's grab two of those. So now we don't have really any money left, but that's okay. That is okay. Um... All right, so let's see. We can continue on. Let's, is there anything that I want to do before we move on? Um, I feel pretty comfortable rolling with our, uh, our three-man squad here. Um, let's see, we'll fight this guy that I skipped. And I'm pretty sure that, uh, there we go. Um, we can get our both our Wingle and our Trico up to the next level. So we'll go ahead and do that with this kid. Um, -da 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 -da. I have very strong memories. I really love the beginning of this game. I think um, kind of just like the opening hour of this game really, uh, really kind of sparks my imagination and my sense of adventure. I really like it. I have some strong memories of starting this game at my grandmother and grandfather's house, which is uh, lovely. Ah, yes, here we have Taylo. Um, I'm going to let Piccolo in on this for at least a second. Um, let's see. <laughs> Brody. Um, here is Taylo. This is kind of like the normal flying type. Um, it is, you know, like the Pidgey of this region. It's really good. It's really fast. Very fast, but very frail. Um, I do like it, but again, I decided not to use it. Oh, so Brody just said something. We need the best Gen 3 fire type. Slugma, the best Gen 3 Pokemon. So, I'll point this out later when we kind of get there. But, specifically, Slugma and Skarmory are two Pokemon that are more heavily featured in this game than Gen in Generation 2, where they were actually introduced that a lot of players whose first game is this, Generation 3, they thought that they were Generation 3 Pokemon. Um, which is very funny. Because again, Gen 2, as much as I adore it, it did a really bad job showcasing some of its new Pokemon. Um, so let's see, let's go ahead and uh, heal up, heal up here before we It's so interesting, the music being all kind of high like that. All right. So now, here we are. I think this is, yeah, Wally's house here. Um, so, oh yes, this guy. Excuse me, let me guess. From the way you're dressed, are you a Pokemon trainer? Hmm, well, maybe not. Your clothes aren't all that dirty. You're either a rookie trainer or maybe you're just an ordinary kid. I'm roaming the land in search of talented trainers. I'm sorry to have taken your time. 
Interesting. Very odd. I wonder if we'll hear from him later. Um, oh, this is great. Look at our reflection. The water is rippling. That is just wonderful. What a great little detail. Love it so much. Uh, let's see. Yes, <laughs> four Generation 2 Pokemon are on the Gym Leader's team. That's back in Crystal, like we were talking about. So here, this little patch of grass, this is where you will catch a Talo if you want to. And while we're on the subject subject of like little details, look, footprints in the sand. Look at that. And then they kind of fade away. Oh, so lovely. Okay, I am not going to fight that trainer down there just yet. Um, actually, you know what? Why not? Why not? Oh, she's actually not a trainer. <laughs> oh no, I'm not a trainer. <laughs> That's funny. So here's the, this guy's a trainer. There we go. That's what I was thinking. Leaving footprints in the sand is so fun. Dude, you are so right. It is so fun, especially when it's a new mechanic introduced by the developers. All right, so let's fight his Zigzagoon. We got a lot of Zigzagoons here in the early going. Um, and also just like, love these battle animations. I remember growing up playing Pokemon when each new generation came out, like the new battle animations was like a big deal to me for whatever reason. Like that new water gun, I'm like, ooh, how cool. Um, even though it's, you know, not a huge deal, but it makes a difference. Ah, Dot. this is the Pokemon that Brody was talking about. Let's go into our Zigzagoon. C Dot, it's a little acorn! Look at that guy! He's so cute! Um, he actually evolves into a very cool, very um, powerful Pokemon. Um, I considered using that Pokemon on our team as well, but starting with Trico, I didn't want to have two grass types. Um, so it's trying to raise its special attack right now. Lucky for us, I don't know if it knows a special attacking move at this point in the game. But it is kind of uh, trying to set up on us a little bit. Hopefully we can get a critical hit so we can get past those defense increases. Um, C Dot famously in the early game will try to use this move, Bide. And if you watched our Pokemon Yellow playthrough, we know that our good old friend Brock liked to use the move Bide. So I'm going to use Leer here to lower its defense a little bit so it doesn't hit us with one. And there you have it. If you don't hit the Pokemon, Bide will fail. So now hopefully we can bring this down quick. Sorry, I'll use a little bit of speed up here. There we go. Nice critical hit to finish it off. Love to see it. But da very nice. Player defeated, Youngster Billy. <laughs> Got sand in my runners. They're all gritty. But this is so nice. Neither of these two guys are trainers. They're just fishing. The sea, huh? I wonder what it's like at the bottom of the sea. Oh, he is a trainer. Whoa. I fished up a strong Pokemon. It has a tough quality to it. Pretty sure, yeah. Our fellas just got a Magikarp. Um... Like many fishermen, not bag, that's not what I wanted. Like many fishermen in many Pokemon games, um, uh, they have Magikarp. Oh, you tuned out for a bit, but you're loving the beach, I know! The beach is such a nice little detail. Um, much has been made about the sand in this stream, but it's just the little things, man. The little things add up. It's wonderful. Ah, uh, yes. Our Absorb should make pretty quick work of this here Magikarp. There we go. <laughs> that made a funny noise. All right. Ooh. We're about to fight one of my favorite trainers in the early going here. Ah, Magikarp is so scary. I know, man. I know, dude. So when we run up here, what is this? Mr. Briny's Cottage. 
No one's here. I wonder if that'll be important later. Let's see. Uh, let's get these berries here. Got the two orange berries. I believe this is also, yes, two more Pecha berries, which can heal poison. And they're a held item. They can be a held item as well, so they can heal poison automatically. Um, okay, we'll go into Ziggy for this trainer. Um, this is one of my favorite trainers in the early game here, and you'll see why. Let's see. Body. Ah, uh, we must have been fated to meet. May I ask you for a battle? Oh, hello, Plusonic. Nice to meet you. I played and finished Pokemon Crystal last month. Oh, awesome! Oh, you're playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition as well? That's so great! Oh, I wish you the best. Thank you for stopping in. How is Princess Peach Showdown? It looks like a cool little game. Um, it looks really neat. Um, ah, yes, Brody. I think that is, once we get through the forest, we'll be able to grab that. Um, so this woman just has a singular Zigzagoon. We're gonna just keep on rolling. I'm actually gonna swap into our good friend Piccolo here. Um, Piccolo's kind of getting the, the lion's share of our experience because it is going to be, I believe, the only team member that we've got right now that's planned to be permanent. Um... But that's still solid. Um, oh, yes. She has a full restore. Why does a trainer this early have a full restore? Again, we're going to learn why. And it's very funny. Um, all right, we'll kind of skip through this a little bit because we're having to beat this Zigzagoon twice, which is kind of annoying. Um, let's see. One more pound will do the trick. Ugh, oh, I love Trico. I love it because it's so fast as well. Alright. So Ziggy will get to level 6. So we got two 6s and one 9. Um, let's see. <laughs> we must keep Ziggy, my baby girl. She gives us $1,400 for winning. She's rich! For this point in the game, that's a lot of money. <laughs> And that's why she has a full restore, which is a funny, fun little detail. Um, oh, you enjoy Princess Peach Showdown on the third floor at the moment. Oh, interesting. I didn't even know that's kind of how it was, like, spaced out or, you know, how it was, how it functioned. So here, folks, we have a little darkened space through the fence. Let's uh, see where this leads. Petalburg Woods with mysterious little music. Um, but, folks, I'm actually going to call it here. We're uh, about at our time. I think this will be a nice little cliffhanger um, to get us into next stream. So, I kind of talked about it at, at our last stream. Um, yes, Brody, you can catch Shroomish here, the Shroomish which we saw earlier. Um, I mentioned it at our last stream. We're going to kind of do this and Yu-Gi-Oh! Worldwide Edition at the same time. Um, my plan right now is to try to keep the three streams a week. We'll probably keep this game at our Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday streams. Those two stream uh, slots. And then we'll keep Yu-Gi-Oh! for Mondays. At least that's the plan. Um, that can always change. Life can get weird. But um, that's really what I'm thinking at the moment. And I think that'll be a good groove for us. But um, thank you so much for tuning in to this first episode. Thanks for being here, Plusonic. I really appreciate you. Um, but uh, love it. Thank you. But I love this game. Love it so much. And I'm excited to show you all the fun things. Okay. Peace, kids.